with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Josh, did you buy a lottery ticket? I did. Did you? I did not. Oh, that's all right. If I, if I win, you can ask some of mine. But we got the lotto numbers in. Oh, really? So let's take a look at them, right. see what came up here. 28, 75, 62, 65 with the mega ball of five. So let's look real quick. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Josh. <laughs> Nothing. I wish you did win. You deserve it. Oh, well, thank you. But we are going to win the rain lottery. We've oh, got great. rain chances coming in. Once again, we'll see the rain come in. Take a look at the time lapse earlier today because we did have those temperatures that kind of started off in the 50s earlier this morning, got up into the 60s this afternoon, some sunshine, some clouds, and then the clouds took back over as we went on into the evening. There's your sunset, 60s, and we're still in the 50s. The moisture's coming on back. And that means those temperatures are going to be staying pretty much where they're at. We kind of topped out pretty near 70 degrees today. Showers should start to overtake the whole area by midnight. We're already seeing them on radar. But then wet and chilly Wednesday is on the way with the potential for flooding at times. The good news is the sunshine is returning as we head on into the next few days after this rain event. You can see those showers pushing on right now. Some of the heavier showers now sitting from Big Lake over towards Midway down to I-10 going through Crockett County, and these are pushing off to the north. We had some light showers recently, though, currently in San Angelo. These are moving pretty close at about, oh, 30 miles or so. But a flash flood watch still in effect until Wednesday at 7 p.m. for our southern counties. That's because this rain, despite the fact it won't be as heavy as the last few events, will be enough that it could cause some flooding of arroyos, maybe even some low water crossings, so keep that in mind. But these storms are moving about 30 miles per hour, so if we put a track on them, that would be taking them pretty close to the San Angelo area as they're moving on. Off to the northeast pretty close to around 11:30. so i think some of that heavier rain arriving here around 11:30, coming into bront and paint rock pretty close to 12:30. but we've got even more on the way as you look down to the south all of this rain sitting over northern mexico has to move in there's even some the radar can't see on the other side of those mountains so we'll be dealing with it not only tonight but into tomorrow as well we'll also be dealing with the cooler than normal temperatures 60 currently in midland and san angelo it's 56 in amarillo here in the contra valley mainly dealing with those upper 50s 62 at ohiv 59 in junction and and 59 currently in Ozona. Winds are pretty dead, so it's going to be feeling humid as we go through the night tonight with those temperatures continuing to go down pretty close to the dew points. Dew points are in the low 50s. That's about where our temperatures will go by the time we get towards morning. You can see all this rain to our south working off to the north, also some out here to the west, and it's all thanks to an upper level low pressure system that's swinging across the southwestern portions of the country. That's pulling all the moisture from the tropical system that's making landfall currently in Mexico or made landfall earlier this evening. This is Willa. This this is a Category 3 storm that made landfall at with 115 mile per hour winds, pressures at 970, and moving northeast at 17 miles per hour. Coming on shore pretty close to Mazatlan, between Mazatlan and Puerto Vallarta. The storm is going to go into the northern plateaus of the Mexican mountains, but not really going to cause much of an issue. But all the moisture is just being sheared off of that thing, and that's coming into Texas, which means our rain chances hang around through tonight and also into tomorrow. We've got a 70% chance of rain overnight. Crank that up to 90 during the day on Wednesday, although most of it should start to get out here by the time we head towards Wednesday afternoon. Only then about a 40% chance of rain and then dry as we head through the rest of the week. So let's take it through time here on Futurecast. Here comes that batch of rain I was talking about. It's going to be a little bit ahead of what Futurecast is showing, but dealing with moderate rain across most of the Concha Valley when you wake up in the morning. That's hanging around through the first part of the morning and even through about lunchtime. After that, I think dry air starts to filter back in. It'll kind of choke off that rain and that may actually bring some clear skies by the time we get into uh, Thursday morning, which means those temperatures may be going down into the 40s. So how much rain are we talking about? Could tack on another one, maybe one and a half inches. Some isolated areas picking up three inches, but nothing too, too heavy. Although, of course, we don't need much rain to cause much of an issue with all of the rain we've had so far. So here's what I want you to do on Wednesday. Grab the jacket, the rain boots. It's going to be chilly. Stay tuned for alerts. Avoid low water crossings and check drivetexas.org for closures. Tonight going down to a low of about 52. Scattered showers after midnight, about 70% chance of rain. Crank that up again to a 90% tomorrow. Only going to reach a high of about 53. Cloudy and chilly with those widespread showers. So again, jacket, rain boots, cold weather stuff that you would wear if it was cold and wet. 66 Thursday, the sunshine's coming back for the weekend. Look at that upper 70s, but we're tracking another cold front as we head to the start of next week. Not really a strong front, but enough that it might cool us back off to those fall temperatures. But what a great weekend in store. Oh, yeah. We'll just have to get to, through tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's going, to, it's going to be awful, but we'll get through it. We need the rain still. We still do. That's true. All right. Thanks, Josh. And coming up on KSAN News at 10. Start